The U.S. Navy has received its first Flight 3 destroyer, the USS Jack H. Lucas DDG-125, from Huntington Ingalls Industries, Ingalls Shipbuilding Division. The Flight 3 destroyers were officially transferred to the Navy on June 27, after conducting a series of trials to demonstrate their readiness. Ingalls is currently constructing the Flight 3 Arleigh Burke class destroyer, specifically designed to meet the advanced requirements of the U.S. Navy. This upgraded version incorporates several design modifications that significantly enhance its capabilities. The vessel boasts a comprehensive array of offensive and defensive weapon systems, including the ANSPY 6V1 air and missile defense radar and the Aegis Baseline 10 combat system. Kerry Wilkinson, president of Ingalls Shipbuilding, said, Delivering the first Flight 3 ship reflects the relentless efforts of our shipbuilders and those of our Navy and supplier partners. We are committed to maintaining a consistent and resilient destroyer production team in order to be ready to support the Navy and our country. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how ANSPY 6V1 radar fitted USS Jack H. Lucas will be the most potent destroyer of the US Navy. Let's get into the details. The US Navy said in a statement, Accepting delivery of DDG-125 represents the official transfer of the ship from the shipbuilder to the Navy. Prior to delivery, the ship conducted a series of at-sea and pierside trials to demonstrate its material and operational readiness. DDG-125 is named for Private First Class Jack Lucas, who served in the U.S. Marines during World War II, earning the Medal of Honor for his heroism at Iwo Jima when he was just 17 years old. He is the youngest Marine and the youngest serviceman in World War II to be awarded the United States' highest military decoration for valor. In 1961, he returned to military service as a captain of the U.S. Army. Lucas trained younger troops headed for Vietnam. Delivery of the future USS Jack H. Lucas is an historic occasion. As the Navy's first Flight 3 destroyer, DDG-125 brings the most advanced integrated air and missile defense capability to the fleet. Said Captain Seth Miller, DDG-51 Class Program Manager, Program Executive Officer, PEO, Ships. I am tremendously proud of the entire Navy and industry team for delivering this ship. The Aegis Shipbuilding Program has demonstrated yet again that it remains a world-class organization and carries on the legacy of Rear Admiral Wayne E. Meyer that was established over 50 years ago. Build a little, test a little, and learn a lot. Job well done. The Flight 3 upgrade is centered on the ANSPY 6V1 air and missile defense radar and incorporates upgrades to the electrical power and cooling capacity. Ingalls Shipbuilding Division is currently in production on future destroyers Ted Stevens, DDG-128, Jeremiah Denton, DDG-129, George M. Neal, DDG-131, and Sam Nunn, DDG-133. The ANSPY-6 is an active, electronically scanned array 3D radar developed for the United States Navy USN. It's designed to provide integrated air and missile defense for Flight 3 Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. Variants are also developed for retrofitting Flight 2A Arleigh Burkes and for installation aboard Constellation-class frigates, Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carriers, and San Antonio-class amphibious transport docks. The SPY-6 radars, integrated to the Aegis combat system, can help defend against ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, hostile aircraft, and surface ships simultaneously, and provide several advantages over legacy radars, including greater detection range, increased sensitivity, and more accurate discrimination. It will enable Arleigh Burke warships to shoot down incoming threats by using missiles like SM-6 more reliably. SPY-6 has scalable and modular radar arrays that reduce cost and sustainment needs while meeting the mission requirements of seven classes of ships. The U.S. Navy has secured contracts from Raytheon for the SPY-6 radar 
half a decade ago, receiving contracts as far back as 2018. The SPY-6 system consists of two primary radars and a radar suite controller RSC, to coordinate the sensors. An S-band radar is to provide volume search, tracking, ballistic missile defense discrimination, and missile communications, while the X-band radar is to provide horizon search, precision tracking, missile communication, and terminal illumination of targets. The S-band and X-band sensors will also share functionality, including radar navigation, periscope detection, and missile guidance and communication. SPY-6 is intended as a scalable system, with each sensor array assembled from Radar Modular Assemblies RMA, self-contained radar modules. The Transmit-Receive modules use new gallium nitride GAN, semiconductor technology, allowing for a higher power density than the previous gallium arsenide radar modules. The new radar will require twice the electrical power as the previous generation, while generating over 35 times as much radar power. The SPY-6 was not originally designed to perform electronic attacks, but it may have the capability to do so using its AESA antenna. The contract will see two variants being integrated into Arleigh Burke class destroyers. One, and SPY-6V-1, also known as the Air and Missile Defense Radar, or AMDR. This is a four-sided phased array radar each with 37 RMAs. It's estimated to have a 15 decibel sensitivity improvement compared to the previous generation and SPY-1 radar, or capable of detecting targets half the size at twice the distance. It's meant for Flight 3 Arleigh Burke destroyers. 2. And SPY 6V-4, a four-sided phased array radar with 24 RMAs. It's designed to be retrofitted to Flight 2A Arleigh Burke destroyers. Raytheon Technologies has got the contract for the production of ANSPY 6V radars, and it's expected that by 2029, the program's total value will reach $5.9 billion. With the ANSPY 6V-1, USS Jack H. Lucas will see much further and also be able to guide its wide array of weapons much more accurately. ANSPY 6V-1, along with Aegis Baseline 10 combat system, will be a potent combination. Viewers may note that Aegis Baseline 10 combat system has a new architecture that allows new capabilities to be integrated in three to four weeks, instead of in three to four months. It's not surprising that Arleigh Burke Destroyer Program Manager, Captain Seth Miller, has stated that DDG-125 brings the most advanced integrated air and missile defense capability to the fleet. We know that radars are like eyes for a platform, and a significant upgrade to it brings a lot to the table. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.